nurseries when they're a baby, and then they yes. start to grow up, and they start to have opinions and stuff. So they're <laughs> tweens, and they want some color in their room. What a great example of how you can use some color without yeah. making it look like a clown show. I mean, this looks well, beautiful. Absolutely. I think we spent, like, we were talking about nurseries and how you spend a lot of time creating that, and yeah. then. You know, you sometimes you lose the color. You won't let your kids choose color when they're older. So I think this is a great example of how to go crazy with pattern and 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 different colors, but still have it tie in yeah. and, and look, you know, cohesive. So kind of started with the dresser. So this is a piece. I <laughs> think Isn't this that is fantastic? so beautiful. I've shown many a painted Malm IKEA dresser on the mm -hmm. show over several years. And this one we had a, a student paint and use as many of our colors as it can. So I'm going to show you how to create that. But that was kind of the starting point for right. this. And again, it's a great opportunity to let your kids paint. If you don't want them to do the, do the walls, let them paint a piece of furniture. This and is the place. Work from there, absolutely. So from that, I wanted to bring in, that could absolutely be in a boy's room or a girl's room. Oh yeah, totally. So I just sort of went along. I love the pink nursery that we showed. So I thought yeah. I'd like to incorporate pink, but in a bit more of a, a tween way. So that pink there is called Hot Lips. This one. Yes. Ooh, Hot Lips. <laughs> I have never used that color yet. Here's my opportunity. I like it. Yeah, so Hot Lips, and then we've got Rose Parade and Calypso Orange. And I've been seeing a lot of that kind of analogous color um, families working together yeah. in, in bedding and in especially with, with girls um, fashion as well. Yeah, it's but color just, blocking, it's right? It's color blocking, absolutely. So you've got a nice family of colors that work really well together that are very hot and then I contrast it with a little bit of blue. Nice. So that's China blue. And you know, they're not all equally sized stripes, which I think is nice as well. It's, it yeah. screams personality. It, it does. And I think going with the larger frame stripes or the larger size of the stripe is nice when you've got something busy like the pattern with the polka dots. Right. Um, and again, all of the furniture, thank you, Ikea. It's always it's so, so much good. fun to go in there and pick everything. And it was just amazing to find, you know, bedding that has sort of that pixelated look. And yeah. then you've got almost this little peace sign in the, in the bedspread. So there's a lot of mix of small scale and large scale patterns. Patterns. Is the bedding all uh, Ikea as the well? The bedding is all Ikea, nice. exactly. And I, I like think it. with kids, if you look at the kids' fashion, like they have no fear of color, so no. they will mix colors. So I, again, I really wanted to bring in sort of the turquoise, we've got bits of the yellow. So again, you can really sort of bring everything together in, yes. in one space. And of course, the rug is a lot of fun too. It's got lots of colors in there. Lovely. So but storage as well. Are there an, Is there any hidden storage that we're not seeing? I mean, I think it's nice to have this little piece at the end. It's nice to have the bench. I know yeah. you were talking about having you have a double bed or a large bed for, mm -hmm. for your kids, which is great. But if you don't have the room, having something extra where you can sit, like a bench is fantastic. Totally. Throw things around. We try not to make it too tidy because it's a bit more typical of, <laughs> of, um, of a tween. Um, and again, like a little bedside table with um, with a drawer. Uh -huh. Certainly, the mound dresser could also be used as, as extra storage for um, for an art room or for an office, that kind of thing, as well as a dresser. But yeah. certainly this high melon bed, you can also put under bed storage. Which is which excellent. I think is excellent. And that's yes. the best use of space. And you must have him in the room, too. You must too. have Harry. That's very, it's very <laughs> important. This kid has so much hair. Doesn't he? <laughs> he does. It's going to be a real shame when he loses that. All, exactly. Okay, All let's the tween talk girls. A little bit I know. About love this Harry. This project here. So let's, yeah, let's talk about that. So I think, um, you know, whether you wanted to do stripes on your dresser or do something fun. Polka dots are so in fashion right now. They so are. I They're thought everywhere. this would be really fun. So on the furniture or on the wall, I painted the base with white. And then you can get these really cute little stamps at any of your arts and arts um, and crafts supply stores. Yeah, little so sponges. Aren't they great? These ones have a nice handle on them. You can also get these ones with the wooden handle, but I really love these are very nice. Mm-hmm. So really simple. Do get you your put a paint lot on? lid. You don't want to put too, too much. much. If you do, have some paper beside you so that you can just sort of take the excess off yeah and then work sides like see how perfectly circular these are and then I'll get another one with the orange so is, it's okay to be mixing the colors and stuff because Absolutely. the way it looks over there is so is there base colors underneath yes in some cases on that we painted a little or they painted a little bit of the blue and orange and then went over top of it so right. if you want to mix and match and not just have the white mm -hmm. so what I would suggest is not planning it out too much because you don't want it to look you know like it's the like this you no. want it to be blending in as well and you can see how on the um, on the actual dresser some of these started to blend and you get sort of an yeah, interesting like mix of colors mm -hmm. see that and Tracy if you wouldn't mind reaching the hot lips yeah no problem <laughs> over there no problem hot lips and as long as you keep calling me that I'll reach whatever you want <laughs> so with this I used regal select paint and then what I would do over top of the furniture is top coat
coat it with a couple of coats of stays clear. And then that way, your kids can put whatever they want on the dresser and you don't have to worry about um, about the durability. Right. Okay, so okay. see how pretty so that see. is, how it starts to blend. Just have some fun with it. Just with those three colors. We're going to make we're gonna uh, make it even easier for you to have some fun. So Sharon has brought Benjamin Moore. Gift certificates for one gallon of paint for everyone in our audience. <laughs> have some fun.